Hey, so I've tried mountain biking and now I'm hooked. That is awesome, I knew you'd like it. So I'm ready to buy a decent bike now. I'm looking for something that has good components that I won't have to upgrade in a few years. Do you have any suggestions on what to look for? Well, my minimum recommended spec is disc brakes and an air sprung fork. Keep in mind that these are not department store bikes. So expect to spend about $1,000 or more for a well-spec aluminum hardtail. A thousand bucks? No problem. I've got that stimulus money. That's right. If you want a decent starting bike that you won't have to upgrade right away, this minimum starting point is going to be $1,000. Why are my minimum requirements an air fork and disc brakes? An air sprung fork is going to give you a much better ride quality and give you the ability to tune the fork to your weight and riding style. Disc brakes give vastly superior braking performance compared to rim brakes, allowing you to stop faster without brake fade and in all types of weather conditions. Ideally, you'd find a used bike that would have an air fork and disc brakes and fits your size too, and maybe the color you like. But in this video, we'll be covering new bikes that fit the bill. Now you're gonna be tempted to buy a cheaper bike with a coil fork, and my recommendation is don't. Spend the extra money up front, and you won't have to spend more money and time upgrading later on. Starting off with the Specialized Rock Hopper Elite in 29 or 27 and a half, comes with a 80, 90, or 100 millimeter Rock Shox Judy Air Fork. Uh, the travel is dependent on the size bike you get. It has a Shimano Dior 10 speed drivetrain, Shimano hydraulic disc brakes, and comes with a tubeless ready wheel set and tires. The Specialized Rock Hopper Elite 29 or 27 and a half comes in at an MSRP of $1,000. Next up is the Salsa Rangefinder Dior, which comes in 29 or 27 and a half plus. It has a 120 millimeter Suntour XCR 32 air fork, Shimano Dior 10 speed drivetrain, Shimano hydraulic disc brakes. It comes with a Transx dropper post and comes with a tubeless ready wheel set, but not tubeless ready tires. The Salsa Rangefinder Dior retails at $1,099. Kona offers two bikes that are identically specced, but come in different wheel sizes. The Mahuna in 29 inch wheels and the Blast in 27 and a half inch wheels. Both are specced with a 100 millimeter RockShox Judy Silver TK Solo Air Fork, Shimano Dior 11 speed drivetrain, Shimano hydraulic brakes and come with tubeless ready wheel set and tires. Both the Kona Mahuna and the Blast each retail at $1,049. The Jameis High Point A129er comes with a 120mm RockShox Judy Silver TK Air Fork, Shimano Dior 11 speed drivetrain, and Shimano hydraulic disc brakes. The Jameis High Point A129er retails at $1,099.95. These next three bikes are direct to consumer brand. You'd think you'd get a much better value out of these brands, but they're actually par for the course regarding price and spec. The Polygon Extrada 7 29er has a 120mm Suntour XCR 32 air fork, Shimano Dior 12 speed drivetrain, Shimano hydraulic disc brakes, and comes with a tubeless ready wheel set, but not tubeless ready tires. The Polygon Extrada 7 29er retails at $1,099. The Canyon Stoic 3 29er has a 140mm Suntour XCR 32 air fork, Shimano Dior 12 speed drivetrain, Shimano hydraulic disc brakes, and has a tubeless ready wheel set, but I'm not sure if the uh, tires are tubeless ready. The Canyon Stoic 3 29er retails at $1,099. The last bike comes from Ferrari, not to be confused with Ferrari. More than you can afford, pal. Ferrari. This is Ferrari with Z's, not R's. Anyway, the Ferrari Wasatch Peak Comp comes in either 29 or 27 and a half plus wheels. It has a 120 millimeter Suntour XCR 34 air fork, SRAM SX Eagle 12 speed drivetrain, Tektro hydraulic disc brakes, and comes with a tubeless ready wheel set and tires. The Fazari Wasatch Peak Comp retails at $999. So what did you think of my list? Is there any that fit my criteria that I missed? What bike would you choose for yourself? 
Uh, personally, I think I would pick the Canyon with the 140 mil fork and 34 mil stanchions. The salsa does sound pretty tempting with that dropper post though. Also the Fazari with the 12 speed Eagle drivetrain, that sounds tempting. So thanks for watching, be safe, be kind to each other. Sunny, sunny. Hi. Hey guys, it's like one in the morning. I know I have all the lights on, but you guys be a little bit quiet. That is awesome! I knew you'd like it! Hey, so I've tried mountain biking and now I'm hooked! Oh boy. How do I hide this?